Today I've got my hands on a brand new mini PC with an incredibly different design. Now feast your eyes on this. So this is the Ace Magician ARM5. It's a, it's a portable gaming PC powered by the AMD Ryzen 5. You've got built-in RGBs and it's future-proof with many upgradable options. Now, first of all, quick look at what you get inside the box. Inside the box, you will find a user manual, an HDMI cable, power supply, and I'll show you the voltage very quickly, a power cable, and last but certainly not least, the mini PC itself. And here it is, guys, in my hands, um, a very compact mini PC. It's made completely from plastic, a very unique design which I've not seen before. On the front, you have a power button, which has three modes. So you've got silent mode, automatic mode, and performance mode, and you're just twisting to select the mode you want. And when you press the power button, depending on what mode you have selected, it will show you a certain LED color to represent um, each of these different settings. And I'll show you that in action very shortly. Um, on the front, you've got a Type-C port, two USB 3 ports, and an audio jack. On the back, you've got two more USB 3 ports, a display port, HDMI 2.1, gigabit LAN, and a power socket. So that is basically all your ports. Quickly show you what the bottom of the unit looks like. A very interesting name for a mini PC, the Ace Magician. Um, even says on the box, the magic box. Let's just quickly run through the specs. So this mini PC is powered by the AMD Ryzen 5 4500U. You've got integrated AMD Raiden graphics. You've got 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, which is upgradable to 64 gigs max. And you've got 512 gigabyte M.2 NVMe SSD pre-installed and that also can be swapped out for a maximum of two terabytes. Now this unit also has Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5, Gigabit LAN, you've got you've got four USB 3 ports. This has Windows 10 pre-installed but it is completely compatible with Windows 11. This supports triple 4k display so you've got HDMI, DisplayPort and Type-C output. All right, so I've got the power plugged in. First thing I want to show you is those LED lights. So we're on performance mode, and you can see it shows a red LED. If you go to auto, it switches to green, and if you go to silent mode, it goes to blue. And you can see the Ace Magician also lights up there, and that looks really cool. Yeah, loving this. Put it straight back on performance mode. You've got LED lights on the sides as well. So a very beautifully designed mini PC, I have to say, and a space saver as well. So without any further ado, I'm going to set this up with my 4K monitor and we're going to run a whole bunch of games and emulation and we're going to find out exactly how good the Ace Magician really is. I'll be right back. All right, time to check out your upgrade options. So let's check out the internals. The cover just comes off by pulling it from the top, literally comes off. You can see how easy that is, the connection. You've got two magnets at the top to keep it in place. So installed, we have 16 gigs of RAM. That's eight gigs each slot. You can have a maximum of 64 gigs, so 32 in each slot. So we do have an M.2 SSD drive pre-installed. This is a 512 gig, um, but you can upgrade that to two terabytes max. And there are two slots. So if you didn't want to touch that, you could leave that alone and you could stick a two terabyte right next to it. Also, there doesn't appear to be any space to add your own SATA hard drive. So you're just stuck with two SSDs, which I think is sufficient anyway. Nice, so nice and easy upgrade options. Okay, so it's all connected up. Here is the Windows desktop. So here is the desktop. We have the full version of Windows 11 Professional pre-installed and ready to use. It comes with all the usual Windows apps you would expect to find, including the Windows App Store. So you can, of course, go ahead and download all your favorite apps and games. So this is basically a full PC experience in a small compact size. But this system is basically a mini gaming PC and the Ryzen 5 is powerful enough to run all your regular Windows apps, but also quite a few games from the Windows App Store, including Modern Combat 5 and Asphalt 9. Now, I am gonna be putting this system to the test. We are gonna try some PC games out. We'll try some GTA 5, um, and I'm also gonna be testing out some emulation. So no doubt we're gonna be pushing this box to its limit to find out what it's capable of. And here is a quick look at system properties. So you can see we've got the AMD Ryzen 4500U with Raiden graphics. 
16 gigs of RAM, you can see 15.4 gigs usable, 64-bit operating system, Windows 11 Professional. So here is the internal storage. So from 512 gigs, this is what you have to play with. So we've got 431 gigs free to use. Now I've just attached my 64 gig SanDisk and I want to play some 4K samples directly from that drive. All right, so the first video is 160 megabits per second. And as you can see, it's playing pretty smooth with no issues. Okay, so this is the second video, 180 megabits per second. And again, plays absolutely fine with no issues. And next up, I'm playing the 400 megabits per second file. Let's see if it can handle this. 400 megabits per second, high bit rate. A little bit of jittering there. It's not as smooth as I want it to be, but it's playing. So yeah, this is what you can expect. High bit rate 400 is struggling a little bit. You can see it is stuttering. Now let's try some regular 4K 60 with HDR. There we go. So let's see how this device handles YouTube streaming. So we're going to test out a 4K clip first of all. And you can see that 4K60 is supported directly from the web browser. So as you can see, super smooth 4K streaming with no issues at all. Let's just test out a few more trailers. Cast that spell. It's too dangerous. Fine. I won't. Leaves a trail. So next up, I tested Netflix from the web browser and I was able to stream 1080p. So we're gonna move on to some gaming and the first thing I wanna do is really put the system to the test. I wanna test emulation now and we're gonna start with the hardest one to emulate. So PlayStation 3, we're gonna try playing Fight Night Champion, here we go. So as you can see, um, it's absolutely struggling with PlayStation 3 emulation. Um, let's take it down a notch. Let's go to PlayStation 2 emulation and see if it can handle it. So now it's time for some PlayStation 2 emulation with PCSX2 and we are playing Fight Night Round 3 and it's upscaled to 6x resolution and it plays and looks amazing. Alright so now we're playing God of War Ghost of Sparta using PPSSPP and we've got the resolution set to 6x Vulcan and that is the sweet point for this game. Um, as this game is quite heavy on the graphics. So another system that's quite hard to emulate is Switch and I am trying to play a bit of Odyssey here as you can see it's loaded up um, but it is struggling the audio has also cut out so it doesn't look like Switch games are going to work on this system. All right so time for some Mario Kart 8 and we're going to do this with the CMU emulator for Wii U. So now we're going to test out GTA 5, which I installed through Steam. And if we have a look at the graphics settings, first of all, you can see the resolution is 1024 by 768 by default. I'm going to bump that up to 1080p. So 1080p, we're going to try playing at 120 hertz, see what happens. So, and the texture quality, I'm going to leave on very high. All right, so we're playing GTA 5 through Steam and We've got it set on 1080p, 120 hertz refresh. We're getting an average frame rate of around 70 frames per second. Yeah, so GTA 5 plays really well on this system. And in the Wi-Fi speed test, we achieved download speeds of 66 and upload speeds of 18 megabits per second. And for your information, this is typically the top speeds we achieve in our office. 
And that brings us to our benchmarks, beginning with Geekbench, multi-core score of 4898 and single core 1090. And in Antu 2, we achieved 569K. So let's see how that compares with the others. This is my top performing mini PC chart for 2022, allowing you to compare the specs, prices and features of all the latest mini PCs. We have ranked these by the CPU pass mark score. So higher the pass mark score, the more powerful performance you can expect. So the Ace Magician mini PC has taken position one on this chart with a pass mark score of just over 12K. And you can view the full versions of all my charts online and free of charge at chigstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it guys, that was the Ace Magician Mini PC. And I love everything about this device. The size, the build quality, and the fact that it's so small and convenient. It's a space saving design and it's portable so it's easy to travel with. You're getting easy upgrade options. Performance for everyday tasks is very good, including multitasking, supports smooth 4K streaming and 4K USB playback. You have a cooling fan to keep the performance consistent. Gaming performance surprised me, especially when playing GTA 5 at full HD resolution, 120 Hz. It was playing nice and smooth, achieved decent 70 FPS average. This mini PC also emulated many consoles like PS2, Wii U without any issues at all. It was not powerful enough to emulate the PS3 or Switch and only other caveat in my unit is the Windows 11 Pro did not come activated. So that means I would have to pay extra to activate Windows or install my own Windows on this. This mini PC is ideal for web browsing, video streaming, office work, office applications and also pretty good for school work too. I even tested light 1080p video editing and it handled it well. I achieved a strong Wi-Fi connection throughout my tests with no dropouts or issues. There is a gigabit Ethernet built in should you need it. So all in all, a charming little mini PC which impressed me with its capabilities, performance and design. Highly recommended, especially at the current selling price. Even without Windows activation, you're still getting a pretty good deal. But I definitely have to say, activated Windows is kind of expected in this day and age. With that being said, links are in the description box below. Do like and sub to the channel for more innovative tech videos, and a follow on Insta and Twitter would be amazing. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.